everybody. Welcome to another week of It's All Good News. I'm Stephanie Haney, and we have lots of smiles for you because that is our job here to make you smile. And we are starting with the sweetest update from our very own Sarah Shookman. We want to introduce you to the newest addition to her family, this little bambino, Luca Angelo James, formerly known as Baby Meatball. This handsome little guy arrived in the world at 327 on Wednesday morning, weighing eight pounds and four ounces. Sarah tells us that everyone is doing great and that big sister Isla is so glad that her little brother is finally here to play. Congratulations to Sarah and her growing family. And now we are sending good vibes to the Legal Aid Society of Cleveland. This is an organization that is very near and dear to my heart. I'm hosting a fundraiser with them this week to help support their civil legal services that they provide to our community. And I'll be volunteering at their brief advice clinic at the Cleveland Public Library on Saturday morning. I did a live tour on Instagram on Monday and talked with their leadership about the history there and how Legal Aid was started here in 1905, one of the first five Legal Aid offices in the country. And they are trying to help people stay safe in our community. The things that they help people with are evictions, protective orders, so much more. They really do help keep people safe, that's the bottom line. And here's something that I didn't realize. The average client there is a woman in her 30s, 40s, or 50s who is taking care of children. So if you are able to help support the cause, there's more information on all of my social media channels. It's underscore Stephanie Haney. And we've got a link to the fundraiser in this week's episode. Let's send them all the good vibes. And we also want to send good vibes to our friends in Stark County, my hometown, Canton. We told you a few weeks ago, they're hosting their first ever Pride Festival on Saturday. It will be in Centennial Plaza, downtown in Canton. The festival is called Queer in Canton, and it is promoting visibility and unity, education and entertainment, and it is welcoming people of all ages and all backgrounds. There'll be a DJ, bands, musicians, drag performers, food and drink and it'll be a fun time for everyone and it's free to get in. It's from 3 to 10 p.m. this Saturday, June 11th. And speaking of pride, Cleveland hosted its celebration last week and that's where we caught this awesome photo. It's our good catch this week. The Cavaliers dance team snapped this photo and shared it on social media and I just couldn't love more how they are supporting our LGBTQ plus community and looking good while they do it. That is what I call a good catch. Now, let's get to what's got you smiling this week with lots of great submissions from social media. Sean on Facebook had this awesome story to share. He and his dad are finally going to King's Dominion Amusement Park. It's in Virginia and they're going this month and he has been dreaming about it since he was a kid and his dad surprised him with the trip and he says it is something to cross off the bucket list. So we hope you have the most amazing time on that road trip. And Kathleen is simply smiling because the strawberries are here. It is strawberry season. I'm a big strawberry fan myself. So Kathleen, we hope you get lots of fresh, ripe ones. And Beverly is smiling and grateful for every single day because she had quadruple open heart surgery in 2019 and she is doing well. And that makes us very, very happy. Lots of smiles for that one. Now to this awesome update. Last week, we told you about Margot Buttsback, who wrote her own original song and performed it with the ukulele. You see it there. This was all to convince her dad to let her dye the tips of her hair purple. And it worked. You have to check it out. Look how great this looks. Her mom sent in these photos. This was done at the Blushing Beauty Salon in Lakewood, and they did it for free. By the way, who wouldn't after that performance? Her mom thanked the stylists Marisol and Celeste, and Margot says, that she feels like a princess after having it done, and she certainly looks like one. It looks very, very good, Margot. All right, remember, you can share your good news with us using the hashtag GoodNewsCLE. Just include it when you post online with your pictures and your videos. You can also text us at 216-344-3300. You can email us at goodnews at wkyc.com. And you can share what's good with you through the WKYC app using the Near Me feature. Just tap on Near Me in the bottom right corner and the app will tell you what to do from there. It could not be any easier. And that'll do it for us for your good news break this week. Here's a note for you. We will be off next week. We got a couple vacations. So we will see you again in two weeks. Remember to like and share this video. Subscribe to our WKYC YouTube page and follow us on social media. We are WKYC on Twitter and WKYC3 on Instagram. We'll see you in two weeks, friends.